Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Virgin Galactic moves to New Mexico. Rotax releases new 914 service instruction. And flight design details the F-2. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. At a press conference last week, Virgin founder Sir Richard Branson announced Virgin Galactic's development and testing program has advanced to the point of moving from California to their commercial operations headquarters at Spaceport America in New Mexico. With this move, the company is now one step closer to providing space tourists with the ride of a lifetime. Officials from New Mexico have been waiting for Virgin Galactic to bring space tourism to the state for over a decade, and taxpayers have invested more than $200 million in the spaceport. And while the company is getting closer to providing commercial flights, Virgin Galactic CEO George Whitesides will not say how many more test flights must be conducted. However, hundreds of potential customers have already paid up to $250,000 up front for a ride in Virgin's six-passenger rocket. Branson's goal is to open up space travel to more people and hopes by the end of the year he'll make his first suborbital flight. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Robinson Helicopter Company recently delivered two R-44 cadets to the University of North Dakota. The new cadets will be used for training at UND's helicopter division and shows the university's commitment to transitioning to an all R-44 helicopter training fleet. Pilatus has selected GoGo Advance L3 as a factory option on new production PC-12NG aircraft. The PC-12NG is the first single-engine turboprop to have the L3 system installed at the factory, as well as the first time passengers on the airplane will have access to GoGo Vision's extensive list of features. The FAA has awarded an STC to Avidyne Corporation for the R10.2.3.1 software for the IFD series. Some of the new features and improvements included with the software are Avidyne's innovative GPS legacy avionics support option, which allows the IFD series to interface with existing ProLine 21 EFIS systems to provide flight director and autopilot coupling of SBAS and LPV approaches, while eliminating the need for costly OEM display hardware and software upgrades. Bristow Group has voluntarily filed for Chapter 11 protection in the U.S. and intends to use the process to restructure its balance sheet and achieve a more sustainable debt profile. All of the company's businesses are operating as usual and are expected to do so for the entire Chapter 11 process. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Hey! There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.
Rotax has issued a new service instruction for 914 series engines. Effective immediately, the ignition check limits have increased from 300 and 115 to 500 and 150. Owners of aircraft equipped with Rotax 914 engines are advised to download and review this service instruction. Make sure you update your documentation to include this new specification change and ensure everyone who operates your Rotax 914 engine is aware of it as well. Flight Design has taken the wraps off its latest general aviation airplane, the F-2. The cabin of the F-2 is designed for extra rigidity and incorporates dynamically tested passenger seats, panel-mounted AM-safe airbags, and an airframe emergency parachute system. Inside the F-2, there's a modern heating and fresh air system, as well as leather-adjustable seats. The structure is pre-impregnated carbon fiber designed to meet CS23 certification, as well as ASTM F3180 low-speed flight characteristics. Sculpted winglets reduce induced drag, improve climb and cruising range, and full dual controls in centrally located single lever throttle and brake quadrant are features of the cockpit. The high def G3X panel includes PFD, EMS, and MAP functions with a backup battery. Starting price is $185,205. And that wraps up this week, everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you're looking for the latest aviation and aerospace news, check out aero-news.net. Thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful weekend.